All right, into custom packs for the Woodpecker Team Kill Challenge. I don't know if anyone else has done this before, maybe they have, but uh, it was just something that appealed to me as being ridiculous, but also incredibly fun. Uh, here we actually get matched with Josiah, who has been sending in runs to RevGT. I'll put a link to one of those videos below if you want to go watch them. And yeah, the idea is since the update, Woodpecker has kind of been supercharged, and that's because of the Wolverine. Um, although I didn't necessarily think I would have to have Wolverine in my team in this video um, because there are a few different ways you could uh, tackle this. But the idea is that we want to get Woodpecker, build it up to be uh, pretty strong, level 3, probably give it Pineapple as well, and then put it at the back, so the left hand slot, and then at the start of battle the Woodpecker snipes will do so much damage they'll kill our own team and then we want the faint effects to be strong enough that we can actually um, you know, come out of it a winner. Now, part of the reason that makes uh, it possible to do that is the fact that Woodpecker's ability activates multiple times. So for level one, you're doing two shots of two damage, which is very low. But with uh, Wolverine, with Pineapple, with level three, you're doing so many shots that you can actually kill a relatively low health team pretty easily. Um, of course, that's not generally the intended purpose of Woodpecker. And although you have, I have seen videos in the past where people have had Woodpecker at the back, usually it's behind um, Triceratops or some other kind of uh, hurt pet that's going to give um, health back or stats when the Woodpecker shoots it. But we don't want that to happen. We want the Woodpecker to destroy its own team and be the only survivor uh, before the faint effects go off. So one of the options for that is to um, scale up the attack on a unit uh, and then transfer it onto something else in the late game. So I had tried a few runs with Salamander, but I also thought that Wasp was a good option. You can see here I've got the level 2 Wasp 11 uh, attack and the frog is ready to swap it. And there's a few things we could swap it onto. For instance, um, we could look for Swordfish. And then if we put a Pepper on the Swordfish, then uh, the Woodpecker will still get the opportunity to kill it after it's fired. But we can also look for Lionfish, and Lionfish is way overpowered. Um, I think you see it an awful lot in customs, and you will do until it gets changed. But it doesn't really care about how much health it has, it's how much attack it has. So for every 10 attack, it will shoot an extra time when it faints. So that means although we're giving up the 50 attack by uh, having the woodpecker kill the lionfish, um, the the damage it deals on faint is going to be so high that it's not actually going to matter. So here I take the level on the lynx. Lynx is also ultra strong, and so it, its stats don't really matter too much. All we care about is the um, snipe damage that it's doing at the start of turn. So we're, we've, it's not a problem if the woodpecker kills the lynx off because it will already have done a lot of damage. Start of battle abilities always go off even if you get uh, killed at the start of battle. I mean, it would be kind of broken if they didn't. Actually, there was a period where, uh, by accident, the game uh, had a version where there was um, start of battle abilities that, uh, if you got sniped, they just didn't go off. And thankfully that was fixed though. So here I think we'll just give the um, pineapple to the lynx, which is fine because it's going to deal extra snipe damage, and that's the only um, damage the lynx is going to deal once we get the woodpecker going. Of course it is turn 8, and we don't have the woodpecker yet, but it doesn't really matter too much because the woodpecker stats aren't all that relevant. It's more about the stats uh, on the lionfish or the levels on the summon units like the eagle. Um, of course, Eagle has been uh, toned down a bit, so it's not quite as strong. You know, having a 1-up level 3 Eagle isn't as good as it used to be. Now here I actually freeze Anglerfish specifically because Lionfish is so common in customs, so I could potentially steal one from an opposing team rather than having to find one naturally. And thankfully there, no, they don't have anything to break the Pepper on the Wasp, and we um, easily get past them but they didn't have anything that I wanted. I think maybe here I'm going to give up on the blobfish and the anglerfish. Next turn we want to have slots open to be able to find the lionfish naturally if we can't get any level ups. 
Uh, there is a crow there, but I'm going to pass it by. Um, we take the level in the eagle, but there's no lionfish. And I think uh, there's definitely other ways you could uh, beat this challenge, I think. But lionfish definitely seemed like the, uh, the go-to choice to at least show that this is definitely possible. I think with a bit more time spent on this, people will come up with more uh, creative ideas for how to actually beat this challenge. But uh, this was the route I decided to take. I'm not sure why I passed up the eagle there. Definitely getting it to level 3 is worth it. Uh, the base stats would be 15-15 on the spawned units instead of 10-10. Um, and with the 1-up, we're obviously getting double that. And a perfect opponent with uh, no melon or pepper for the wasp to just break through the big stats. And now we can get the uh, swap with the lionfish and then sell the wasp as well. So we get a, a decent uh, 12 gold to play with for this turn. Double woodpecker. And really now we're just looking for levels. Now here I actually take the cat. I did briefly have an idea that I was going to buff the woodpecker up so that it would have big stats when as the last survivor on the team, but mainly the cat was in the pack in order to um, buff the lionfish with uh, fried shrimp if I didn't get uh, the transfer from the wasp or uh, the salamander. I, I did have some runs where that's the, the, the strategy that I employed, but this time it wasn't really necessary, and you can see here I'm about to give up on the cat after one turn of buying no food at all. So Wolverine, um, I could actually just sell the cat and put the Wolverine in behind the uh, woodpecker, but for whatever reason I decide not to, I'm just going to save it, and we'll buy the eagle. I think I passed up another eagle there as well. Maybe I could have had level 3 eagle already at this point. I think uh, this team, although they've got the fancy mandrel setup where they get the in-battle buffs, uh, we're going to get Orca out of the uh, Eagle. I'm not sure it actually makes any difference here. Maybe it does. But it means that the spawned Wolverine kills the Puma and the um, Lynx finishes off the Turkey. So now we can um, combine the Eagles and then put the Wolverine in. Now actually, this will mean that each shot from the Woodpecker I think is doing seven damage, so we don't actually have enough damage in order to kill the whole of our own team. Um, so I really need uh, a higher level Wolverine or the level three Woodpecker. But uh, yeah, you can see there the, the Eagle survives on one HP. So even if we'd, um, you know, if this was uh, a win, it wouldn't have counted because we didn't actually have all four units in front of the woodpecker fainting. Now, of course, you can't completely control that, and you'll see why in the next battle. And it's because pets can be sniped by the opposing team. So I, I guess you could have different versions of this challenge where you have to win without having any of your own pets sniped. But unfortunately, it's kind of a sniping meta. And here we get matched with level two leopard, it kills the Wolverine, but that means that the Woodpecker now has enough damage to kill the rest of our own team. The Doggo is going to come in, but the Eagle spawns a Walrus, and the 1-1 one, one Eagle kills the 31-31 Dog. Incredibly lucky, but I'll take it. Now, of course, the Wolverine wasn't killed by the Woodpecker. It would have been ideal if the Woodpecker killed all four units on the team, but, um, you know, you can't have everything. So here actually is a bonus run where I got to nine wins, turn 12, I had five hearts intact. I also have the level three woodpecker with pineapple with Wolverine. So we definitely have enough damage here to kill our own team in one go. So first battle, uh, summon team, they actually have level three stork with one up and probably stork might actually be better than eagle for these, uh, these types of runs. Uh, I'm not sure if I even had it in the pack, but they actually get Rhino from the Stork. And Stork still gives triple base stats when it spawns units. Uh, something that I suspect is probably going to change in the future. But for now, it's still incredibly strong. And uh, we got destroyed by the Rhino there. So not to worry, still four hearts intact. We'll take the other level up on the Wolverine. I think if we increase the damage from the Woodpecker, we can hit more units on the opposing team. 
And this team actually has one up microbe, something which previously was totally useless, but now with uh, Whale Shark, uh, which gets buffs based on um, ailments, it actually does make sense. Uh, so that was kind of interesting to see. But I'm not going to go for level 3 Skunk. I'm going to look for level up on Wolverine and the level up on the Eagle, and we actually get both of them. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. I'm not sure why I held on to it there. Maybe I was looking for the Lionfish level instead. If I'd taken it immediately, I might have got the Lionfish straight away. You know, that's you really should take levels straight away if you're hunting for another Tier 6. And of course, another barrier to this challenge is Seahorse. It moves the Woodpecker up to the front so we can't actually kill our own team. Not that we had a chance against this. One-up turtle completely busted. And it gives their entire team melon. Basically makes the panther invincible. But we didn't have enough uh, respawns there anyway. We do get the level up on the lionfish now. And here I probably shouldn't bother buying the uh, fried shrimp. I should probably just go straight for the levels to try. And, and also to have the chance to find chocolate in the shop next turn. Um, the lionfish only does a very small amount of damage to the summon team. And actually, I suspect even if I'd wiped their whole team, they had multiple one-ups there with orca and deer. So there was probably a good chance we could have lost anyway. So now we're down to one heart from five, four losses on the, on the spin. And we get the level two lionfish. We're above 20 attacks, so we are going to deal a bit more damage, but really needed the level three there. And we get matched with a heart team with triple lemon and one up hedgehog. So our entire team is gone at the start of battle as a result of the um, blowfish snipes. And uh, yeah, that's the end of that. So, you know, even when you feel like you're in a great position with this challenge, it can be very easy to just lose, 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 and it's over.